questions um, all answered then. So, <laughs> actually, I just went in to eat a piece of pizza and uh, I fell asleep. And Steve woke me up like five minutes later and it's like, oh my gosh, I was just like a log. No, how many, Lainey? How many recipes so far? Ah, eh, that's okay. 78? Oh, my. And do you have room for more? Because I know I haven't sent mine in. Wow, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> Hi, Yellow Rose. Okay, do we have a do we have a category tonight? Oh, you got three tonight for a sardine and artichoke casserole. You are you serious? Oh, that is too funny. Oh, I'm glad to have you all on. Very very glad. Oh. Oh, yeah, Steve's Famous Sloppy Joe's. Forgot about that. Cool. <laughs> Artichoke and, and sardines. Mm -mm. From Oregon. Wow. And Titans are on. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Little chap, that's cool. I like that. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. Yeah, guys, everybody, just keep sending your recipes into Lini. This is going to be a pretty cool thing, I think. Darling, little, what was that? Knocked over a TV. Uh-oh. I'm very sorry, Lini. Oh. <laughs> yeah, loves kitties. That's funny. Wow. Okay, well, let's get started. Yeah, Steve makes really a great sloppy joe. He did just a couple days ago. It's good stuff. Donna was leading the charge. Oh, oh I hope that didn't break. No, Fairy hasn't had her meds yet. And actually, she's um, bugging me down here. So, uh, yes, I got to go. I, got, I will write that down, too. So I don't forget. Okay. Well, we'll let me get Vera her meds. Um, we'll get started. And then I've got things written down there to go over. Vera, are you ready? Hi, Preetness. We're going to have somebody be out tonight, and that is going to be a tweeny. Come on, Farah. Come on. It's right there, girl. Oh, don't look at me like that. Come on. Hi, cutie. Farah, you're such a rascal sometimes. You are such a rascal. No, you don't, baby cakes. Love you. Okay. Oh, do do we have a category? I don't even know if we do. Do 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 do. Fell only two feet on the back side. Thank goodness it didn't land on a kitty, I guess, huh? Hi, Cape Cod. Well, I'm glad it didn't break or hit a kitty, huh? Um, do we have a category tonight? Hey, and Titans, when I get done here, I'm going to get you all set up. Okay, Nancy Pants, or Nancy Pants, you want to do it? Okay, cool. We'll spread the fun. This will be a nice a solar night, I think, Nancy Pants. So what they do is write down what's in the box and who it's from, and then the letters, who they're from, and if there's a donation, and then kind of highlight the talk afterwards. So tomorrow morning when I do the blog, I have a little guideline to help me on what we talked about after the boxes. So that'll that'll be good. All right, well, let's get busy. Um, <clears throat> just 
check this out. Our furniture. We're putting wheels on all of them. And, hello. It's going to help us, um, one, to help with the floor better. And also, it helps so much not to have to lug, <clears throat> lug those furnitures all around all the time. So, well, we have one, two, three, four boxes and, and a few packages and a few envelopes. So, we'll get started. And I just wanted to let people know that if your uh, cards have, I've gotten a couple more cards for uh, Peggy. And just be assured that I'm keeping them all together. The, the volunteers know to check the door over there for, for information for them. And uh, that's where I'm putting Peggy's cards that she got after her birthday card party yesterday. So she will get them. Uh, this one is from from Amazon. Let's see if there's a... Oh, boy. You kitties are not going to go hungry. Oh, I think I have a letter that I'm supposed to read with this one. Let me, let me grab it. Yes, this is from a really wonderful person. Um, this is, it says Treats for Cutie. And this is, and I probably will pronounce it wrong, Gitti Thornburg. And Gitti is uh, Denmark. And her cam name is Echo Denmark. Echo Denmark. So she has sent a gift here for Cutie, but there's also a poem here for Cutie. And you know what's really nice is she said that she knows that Cutie isn't really always too keen and holding real tight. She loves to be petted, but not always held that it's okay not to hold her up, which I thought was really, really nice. So this is for Cutie. Oh, this is cool. This is, whoops, <laughs> one of those Kong toys. Now that is going to be a whole bunch of fun. And I think when we're done here, I'll make sure that Cutie gets that. And so she also sent, whoops, a a package here. And in there, oh, these are whisker uh, temptation treats. The tuna, there's, goodness, well, there's a whole box of them, of the temptation treats. And I'm going to go ahead and put a few in here. We use a lot of those, and because we share them, of course, with the Sun Porch Kitties and uh, the Kitty City Kitties as well, as these guys in here. So we got a whole box of Temptation Treats. The kitties love their treaties. And we've got a case of flaked, flaked something, flaked tuna. Oh, we don't get this one very often. This is a case of the Fancy Feast flaked tuna. Oh my goodness, and then there's still a case. Oh, oh my, we haven't had this in a long time. This is the Friskies. It's the tuna with the egg in it. The cats love it. We just we just don't get it, and even in our store. Um, sometimes I bought it for little treats because they really like it. I, I don't always get to find it. So we've got a whole case of that. It's the tuna with the egg in it. I stepped on a kitty. So this is from um, Echo Denmark, and she is from from Denmark. And this is her letter to Cutie. It says, "Dear beautiful Cutie, happy Valentine, happy Valentine's to you from an admirer in Denmark. I fell in love with you the moment I saw you on the webcam for the very first time." What makes me love you even more is that you are the only solid gray kitty in the main room at the rescue center at the moment. So you are easy to recognize when I log in to see how you are and all your other beautiful kitty friends are doing. I'm still having trouble learning all their names since I'm fairly new to this site and I've only popped in to say a quick hi a few time, times in chat so far. People seem so nice and welcoming to newbies. 
Thank you, guys. But I guess I'm just a little shy and unsure of what to say. Cutie, you couldn't possibly have picked a more loving and caring home for your for yourself when you found your way to the rescue center at only three weeks of age. What a fantastic, one-of-a-kind place it is. Thank you. The volunteers and your daddy, Greg, all love you dearly. You are special, and here is why. And this is her poem to Cutie. Gentle eyes that see so much, paws that have the quiet touch. Purrs to signal all is well, and show more love than words can tell. Graceful movements touched with pride, a calming presence by our side. A friendship that will last and grow, small wonder why we love you so. Isn't that wonderful? She said, I've sent you a couple of goodies that I hope you like. I've investigated a little and found out that you like anything that has tuna in it. So this should be should last you a couple days. But feel free to share with all your friends at the rescue center. Maybe some of them like tuna too. Happy Valentine's, cutie. All your furry friends at the rescue center, Jackie, the moderators, and all the wonderful volunteers. Much love, Echo Denmark. Thank you, Echo. I appreciate that so much. And I'm going to save your your letter also. Thank you. That's very nice. And I think Cutie is right down here. She was a minute ago. Oh, I see her. I'm going to give her her toy. Echo, she just um, sniffed it and then she put her paws on it, so she will like that. Thank you, Echo. That's that's very very nice of you. It's nice when um, some of the cats get those special little things. You know, it's it's just really sweet. Uh, this one we're gonna save for last. Oh my golly, I don't know what's in this one. I tried to shake it, but it's just far too heavy. What do you have? You got a feather in your mouth. You silly boy. This one is also from Amazon. You know, Tilo has worn me out today. I bet I have tossed that plastic ring of his at least, at least 50 times. <laughs> Connie's played with them. Lisa's played with them. He just, he just never quit. What have we got here? Let me see if we have a card. Something really cool. Oh, wow. No wonder what's heavy. Let me put these up first. Let's see if we get a card in here. Oh, yes. Is there a name? Yes, there is. I like it when we have names. Thank you for all the hard work that you all do. We enjoyed our visit over the Christmas holiday. Oh, this is from Yellow Rose. I think you're on. Um, we enjoy watching every day and keeping up the latest activities. God bless you and the volunteers from Yellow Rose from Greenville, Texas. And uh, thank you. I think Yellow Rose might be on. Wow, thank you. Cool, cool. Uh, let's start with these here. We've got a case of Fancy Feast Classic. This is this we get a lot of these, and they love this. It's the seafood one. Whoa, Badu, you scared me there, girl. And we have a case of, oh, the grilled. The grilled they like because it's um, bits and pieces. It's kind of a chopped up kind of thing. And Oh, and another seafood flavor, but it's grilled. Did you find those, Tilo? And friskies, these are the chopped up meaty bits that they like. And this is a variety pack. So we've got two cases of Fancy Feast and a case of friskies. And we have this box that looks very interesting. Oh, yeah. This is the 
with the Friskies gravy sensation. Um, this is if I was a cat, this is what I'd like. <laughs> they love this because it really does have a whole lot of um, Friskies in it. Or excuse me, it has a whole lot of the gravy in it. Uh, the oldsters like this. All of them like this. I always take probably four of these in the mornings when I do their breakfast and mix in because it makes it real juicy. So thank you. Thank you for that. And we have two more things here. I don't know if that slides out. Aha. Whoops. Yep. You can help me, Kilo? Oh, this is nice. I'm going to stick them in this way because they'll stay put longer. This is the Party Mix, the Wild West Crunch. Uh, I don't know. Boy, there's like, what, four different kinds of trees that these kitties get. And I don't think there's any of them that they don't like. Oh, what do you think? What do you think, Gina? She says, I think I want those snackies right now. How about if I open one up for you? This looks like another box of Temptations. And it is. It's it's the Wild West one again. We'll put a couple of these together. And uh, when we just refill it, every day we have to refill our treat. Well, actually, every day we have to refill our people treat drawer. And we also have to fill the kitty treat drawer up, too. I'm going to put a few of those in there and then a few over there to take out to Kitty City as well. And sometimes when I come out at night, if I come out that door to check, I'll, I, I stash a few of these in the red and orange cabinet and uh, that way I can come around here with, since I'm in my jammies so nobody sees me. And I toss them out to them. Alright, we'll put those we'll put those there and take those out to the Kitty City. Thank you so much. I appreciate that very much, Yellow Rose. This is really, really nice. Alright, there was a kitty in there. There was, there was. Let me put this back. You know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and put this in the cabinet because uh, the other day I had left out a couple of them and in the morning the kitties had them open back there on the floor. There wasn't a single one left in the packages. Yes, so they opened up two packages during the night and got them. What are you doing, McAllen? Oh, why don't you get up there? I'm going to close this. I always worry that somebody will get in a box that I think is empty and... I lift it up and it's heavy like I've enclosed a kitty in it. Oh, I want to open this one first and save this other box for that. We've got, oh, look at what I found. One of Tilo's um, uh, rings. Oh, landed on the rug. This one came by FedEx. And, well, I never know if on the outside is really where it came from. And I know some of them go through a second person. Oh, we got it. Ooh. 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 Okay, let's look at this. I wasn't expecting whatever that is because it says on the outside, perforated roll towel. So I thought it was full of paper towels. Oh, this is from Ice Maiden. It says, hi, Jackie. This is... Max, LT's kitty, and that's Ice Maiden. So this is from Ice Maiden's kitty, Max. As you can see, yes, you can peek in the box now. Enclosed in the box are several pillowcases. 
Each has two sides, so all my buddies at the center can choose which side they like best. Some are furry, some are woolly, and some are fleece. There is also a poof. I had LT Ice Maiden sew these, exactly to my specifications. I was so envious of all the poofs at the center, and those are our uh, marshmallow beds that we call them, that I just had to have one. She complained that she didn't really know how to sew. She only took something called home ec in high school. But I was insistent. Seriously, how hard is it to sew straight lines? Geez, I even had to search the web to get her instructions on how to sew something called a French seam. Ooh la la. Hum. Anyway, after she finished, I tested them out. Wee! I don't know what is so special about poofs. They are just plain weird. Icky, squishy. No, no way would I sleep on that. They are kind of creepy the way they swallow you up. <laughs> they do too. The cats love them though. But I realize my buds there at the center think that they are the cat's meow. And the pillowcases are for the other kitties that think like I do. Like the fabric but hate the squish. So the poof is theirs. So we see where envy gets you. <laughs> You can use any of them in Kitty City if you think the kitties won't inappropriately, you know what, on them. Yeah, we know what that is. I have a special bond with those guys because I used to be an outside, outdoor cat with a kitty condo because I was naughty around other cats inside. Shh, I, you know what it, oh, oh, inappro inappropriate places. <laughs> But now that I'm the last cat standing, I get the whole house to myself. How cool is that? You can even confiscate aw you you can even confiscate one for your naked your naked kitties in your house if you want. You can do whatever you choose to with these. You could even auction them off for the cat of bond. Okay. LT, his mama, is getting grumpy with me being on the laptop. She especially didn't like the reference to home mech. She says it dates her. <clears throat> I think she means it makes her look old. Well, if the shoe fits, oh, Max, you're going to get in trouble here. Have fun with the cases and poof, and I'll see if I can swipe the credit card and send some other goodies. Shh. Oh, and here's a picture of Max. Max, you're a naughty little stinker, I think. Isn't that cute? I'm telling you, you webcamers have the smartest kitties there ever could be. Let's look and see what Max sent. But let me grab a real quick drink here. <clears throat> Max, you're a pretty handsome boy there, I'd say. Can we see that? Oh, Acme. Fox Shaker Decoy, <laughs> made and distributed by Roadrunner and Wiley e. Coyote, Incorporated. Gotcha. <laughs> now, is there just nuts and bolts in here, or what? I ought to save that. I'm going to open it from the bottom. I wonder if it's just nuts and bolts, and you're fooling me. Fooling with me. <laughs> Made and distributed by Roadrunner and Wiley Coyote. I like that. Oh, here we go. I like to shake things. <laughs> There's a box, but you know what? Actually, the kitties would like to play with the foil balls. So we'll give you guys the foil balls. And I'm going to bet you they would even like the blocks of wood. Oh, my goodness. Max, you're too funny. Okay. So here's... Oh, it, it's a pillowcase weight made with that stuff. With the poop, with the poop stuff. Isn't that nice? Oh my goodness, we've never have had one of these. I mean, you could put this on a pillowcase or you could just put it on top of a, another, you know, soft thing. 
Oh my goodness, it's so very nice. Uh, do you, should I just lay that there for right now? Wow. And look at these. These are beautiful. Max, your mommy did awesome work. One side is the poofy stuff, and one side is the um, felt like things. Wow, these are going to be awesome to put on our bed. Oh, check this one out. This is the stuff that the poofs are made out of. Wow. Oh, gee, these are all so very nice. Ice made, and you did an awesome job. Look, there's a pillow for a pillowcase. Wow. So some, of, yeah, some of them have the the soft felt. Some is the sheep, like the woolly stuff, and some is the poof material. Isn't that nice? Yeah, that fleece stuff is awesome. Wow, well, Ice Maiden, ah, you did an awesome job. Oh, so this is, wow, you did great. This is really cool. This is made out of the same stuff as our, yeah, I'll show you. This one is Bella's favorite. As, you know, the poofy beds, the marshmallow beds that we call them. So this is out of the same stuff. Thank you. And it's got the wool on this side. Wow. Max, you better give your mommy a big old hug for us. That was all squished in that box. Wow. Ice Maiden, thank you. Thank you. I'm sure glad you got a kitty that likes to share with us. This is really nice. Oh, I'm just going to set this on the floor right here. I can just see Bella in that. She, Bella would just love that. Oh, well, already, there goes Hetty. Hetty is on it. Oh, even a walk. Hetty just walked over it. Wow, that's pretty cool. Thank you, Ice Maiden, and thank you, Max. I'm going to save your letter, too. And... Wow, that's pretty cool, wasn't it? You Wow, we got a really wonderful bunch of stuff tonight. Well, we always do. You guys are all, all, always wonderful. Wow. So this is a special box also. You all remember um, our little friend Hannah? And I got a feeling Hannah's on. Um, remember Hannah's our special little girl who we collected Christmas cards for in December? Uh, we got this, we got this, and this is from, from our Hannah friend. Yeah, our sweet little girl. So, Hannah, I think you might be on there. We're sure, sure glad to have you with us. Wow. It says, Two Friends of Felines Rescue Center from Hannah. And he, this is Hannah's trademark for stickers. You know what, Hannah? I just stuck something in the mail to you yesterday, so maybe you'll get it tomorrow. Aww. Jackie volunteers in kitties and web cameras. And it says, hi to everyone from Hannah. She wanted to send some goodies to you. Hugs and kisses to all the kitties from Hannah. Isn't that cute? Yeah, Hannah, you're a pretty cool little girl. Let's see what Hannah sent. And we'll put, Hannah, we'll put your card on our wall of cards right over here. And we'll share that with everybody. Oh, she sent two. There's two bags of kitty treats, and you know the kitties like those temptations, Hannah. Oh, and you sent some beef and cheese treats for the dogs. They will love that, and those are just the right size for the doggies. Not too big and not too small. Thank you, Hannah. I'll put those there and share those with the kit doggies. They will love those. And, oh, this is the Meow Mix pate top toppers you know last week was the first time we ever got any of these and the cats love these it's they're really kind of weird <laughs> they're
they got this uh, pate stuff on the, yeah, it's meaty shreds on the top and a smooth pate on the bottom, and the cats love this. Thank you, Hannah. And a bag of Friskies, the seafood flavor, seafood sensation. And also, last but not least, is a dozen of the Whiska um, cans. Hannah, thank you so much. And look on the blog tomorrow. You'll see something on there that says thanks to Hannah. Okay, thank you, Hannah, so much. You're pretty special. Have your mom give you a kiss for me, okay? Thank you, sweetie. All right. And Hannah, look in the mail tomorrow. I think you'll get something from, from me tomorrow. If not, it'll be the next day. And we have just a few cards here. <laughs> What are you doing, Plymouth? You know, that Plymouth is one of the nicest all-around kitties. Uh, he's he's at me all the time on the desk, and he's so cute because some of the cats just won't leave my fingers alone, and it takes so much time to type anything. Maybe that's why I'm always behind. But he sits right in my lap and just looks at my hands. He's so good. This is for Ada Jean. Oh, and this is from Laray. Laray's one of our webcam friends. And I think, oh, today is Ada Jean's birthday too. Remember, today's Ada Jean's birthday. I want to. I'll. I'll get her paperwork out. Oh, and you, oh, Laray, this is it's your birthday. Wishing you nine lives. Had to modify for Ada Jean. Happy birthday, Ada Jean. We all hope that you will have many more. Um. We have been just pouring on the pets and lovings and treats to Ada Jean all day today. And I'll get her health record out and tell you a little bit more about her. And look at this from Laray. Look at the kitty that's on it. It's got the black um, dot on her nose like what Ada Jean does. Ada Jean's a black and white cat that holds her head kind of to the side. And then when she meows, it's like... You can barely hear. It's so cute. This one's to Octavia. Oh, and this is from our webcam friend DeWitt. Octavia, she's been ornery today. She has been just a stinker. Oh, <laughs> look at this. That's what Octavia probably thinks she looks like every time she steals something. <laughs> This says, Octavia, save your nine lives. In closer to get a. <laughs> uh, our, our two um, get out of jail free cards. Please feel free to use them if Putter wants to send you to Juvie Hall for your stealing ways. Happy Valentine's Day. Love your spirit, Octavia. And this is from DeWitt, DeWitty, and Ambry, is it? And Binks. And look at this. There's two get out of jail free cards. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's the funniest thing today I've seen. That is too cute. Thank you, Dewitt. I'm going to actually tape those separate so I make sure everybody sees those. <laughs> oh, there's. I think sometimes we really do need a jail here for that girl. She is one ordinary dude. Good thing she's cute, isn't it? Oh, these are one of my favorite cards. The um, um, oh, how do you pronounce it? My eyes, my glasses need change. Marjolin Boston, Boston, is it? It's the Hallmark, the Nature ones. Those, they're just beautiful cards. Whoops. Oh, this. Oh, it didn't say my mom on there. Okay, this is for my mom. I'm going to stick it right back in there. She'll like the card. And I'm going to tape that and stick that over and write mom on there. Okay, and I'll get that in my mom's pile. Um, 
I don't see a name on here, so I think this one's okay to own. But this is from Betsy S. Oh, from Defiance. Cool. That's our neck of the woods. A special note of thanks. Oh, look at that. These uh, cards that people make like this are so cool. A special note of thanks. Thank you for all you do. Betsy, Mike, Tate, and Gracie C S. Betsy, Mike, Tate, and Gracie. Oh, this. Oh. And uh, uh, Katateri, if you would put, there's a gift card from, oh, wow, $150 gift card from Walmart. I, we will use this for supplies. I went there today, and it's like, ouch. Um, Tate is on the right. Gracie's on the left. Isn't that a cool picture? Yeah, that's nice. You know, it's all the little things that add up for us. Thank you, Betsy and Mike. I appreciate that very much. Um, that's really nice, and I love the card. I'm going to put a little piece of tape on that so I don't lose that cute front on there. And we'll hang your card up with your kitty pictures on our wall of cards there. Okay. Aw, this is for Mercy. Mercy is our, I call her our white calico. She's the one that has mostly a white body with a calico tail and little calico-ness on her face. Oh, Isn't that cute? Oh my goodness. They all look so angelic when, they, when they're sleeping. Uh, and this is this is from this is from Sid Red, our our volunteer who's in Florida. Says Jackie, please use enclosed check for the new storage room or anything that you might need. Sid, Sigrid, dear Mercy, to some kitty who always knows how to make me smile. Dear Mercy, still working on it. You are a sweetheart. Love you, Sigrid. Happy Valentine's Day. You know Sigrid really loves uh, loves our. Merci, girl. And um, Merci, Sigrid, if you're watching, Merci told me that she is not going to come out until you come home because she doesn't want anybody to adopt her until you come. So I told her she shouldn't do that because you told her to try. But I, I think she's holding out. Our cat, Terry, if you could put on there that Sigrid also sent the donation. I'm going to stick it in my pocket, and I promise I won't wash them. I just don't want to lose them in all the paperwork. This is from Tazzy, Donna L, and Tazzy from California. Happy Valentine's Day. For my angel Fifi. Oh, is this from, ben? from Donna L, Tazzy? says, for my angel Fifi, I know it's not very much, but I wanted to help with your eye surgery. You are such a pretty little lady. You and all your friends at FFRC bring so much joy into my life. I hope you have a wonderful day and tell Jackie to sneak you a few treats today. Keep that fuzzy chin up. You have a wonderful home. I love you, Donna L. and Tazzy. And our Cataterry, if you would put that, there's a donation there. And um, thank you so much, Donna. Uh, we'll, we'll put this towards her medical care that she's already has had. Did you put Tazzy on, Jazzy? Okay, Fifi on there. Yeah, then I can remember um, to put that towards Fifi's surgery. Uh, I think I'm going to call up there and uh, get her, talk to them. Maybe we don't have to wait till the middle of March and maybe the first of first of March instead. Um, her, it's that third eyelid of hers is really even more pronounced than what it was before. And I would like to maybe get that surgery a couple weeks ahead of time because I know for sure her eyesight is diminishing. Uh, and today, you know, cats are just so precious. They, they never feel sorry for themselves and they figure out how to do things. She was on, uh, well, it was one of the cat trees back there, one of the tall ones. She started out top, 
Judy S. is the one that saw her do this, and I saw the tail end of it. She went from one level to another, but she she kind of went down some head first, and some she turned around and used her bottom first, and then kind of rolled over, and she just did it in such a way that, you know, she didn't get hurt, and she, she went one level to the next level, and it was just really sweet how she figured that out. This is for Savon, who is one of our, our uh, Kitty City big kitties. Kitty in there, sending smiles across the miles. Savon, you are my favorite big girl. You are the same coloring as my amber girl. She is my little girly girl. Oh, that's what I call Zelda. My Zelda Belda girly girl. You are my big girl. Happy Valentine's Day, DeWitty. Thank you, DeWitty. That's very nice. And we'll hang this up on our wall also out there. Yes, yeah, Savon is a big girl. Oh, this is from our friend Cheryl L. from Washington. With a cute little kitty sticker on the back. Oh, this one I'm going to... Um, let me see here. Um, I'm going to read the card in my home. This is for my my kitty. And but your letter, I'm gonna read towards the end here, Cheryl. Or yeah, the other card, the letter that you put in there. This is from Lila Jean, who is from Washington. And check this out. You gotta see this. I noticed this today. I thought this was really cool. See the envelope? There's Paul. It's on the envelope. There's a picture of Paul holding promise. Isn't that cool? Whoa. Boy, these, these envelope cutters are star art. Aww. Happy Valentine's Day, Jackie. And that's a picture of me holding promise. It says, no matter where life takes us, you'll always be my first and forever Valentine. I promise. And there's a picture of promise. Promise is an extra special kitty for me. Isn't that sweet? And on the back it says, created just for you by Lila Jane. And I kind of wonder if that might be her picture on the back there. Thank you. Thank you so much, Lila Jane. I love that very much. I think I'm going to take that one in my house, too. Okay, and then we have one more here. Tiffany, I think it says Tiffany Cat. Oh, this is from Germany. Isn't that awesome? We have we have cam friends all over the world. Oh, and this is for magenta. I'm not quite sure where magenta is tonight. Zelda, do you know where magenta is? Oh. Oh. says, to the one I love, you're everything I've ever dreamed of. Happy Valentine's Day, pretty Lady Magenta. Greetings from Frankfurt. Lady Magenta, as I first started watching FFRC, I just saw a lot of cats and wondered how I would learn all their names. But your name was the first one that I learned because you were the first beauty that caught my eye. Every time I feel down, I just watch you and feel better. You always bring a smile every time I see you. I really love watching you, and I'm glad that you are in such a lovely forever home like FFRC because they really take good care of you. I'm too far away to come visit you, but we'll always be watching from afar and, of course, smiling. Lots of love, Tiffany Cat, and her, her other name is Joy. Tiffany Cat, you have beautiful penmanship, 
and a beautiful story there or letter there for for our uh, for our magenta. Magenta's a cool girl. Oh, here's it. Oh, this is a postcard, and we'll put this up on our cork board. It says, dear Jackie, thank you for giving us the opportunity to watch the kitties and for all that you do for them. Yeah, kitties do love you, Mama Jackie. We just see how they run at 4.30, half asleep, just to the sound of your voice. What you do is very much appreciated by all of us. Hope that you know that wishing you and your lovely family all the best in all, all that you do. Greetings from Frankfurt, Germany. Hope you enjoy the postcard, Tiffany Cat, Joy. Joy, and I'll put this up on our cork board. Oh, my goodness, look at this one. Oh, isn't that cool? Dear volunteers, I just wanted to thank all of you for the lovely work that you all do at FFRC, taking care of the kitties. They are very lucky to have such lovely people who are there for them. Thank you. Wish you all and your families all the best in all that you do. And uh, we'll put right this right here on the refrigerator for the volunteers. And oh, and this is for my mom. Check that out. Oh, Joy, thank you for that for my mom too. I'm so excited for my mom to see all these. <laughs> it's going to be fun. Okay. Um, this here is uh, from a AG warehouse. I've got this one and two more, and then we'll talk a little bit. These are the handiest little doojickies. Oh. Uh, do we have a person who it's from? Oops, I don't. Oh, this is for, oh, it's kind of smeared, but I think it says, uh, no, wait, that's Lois, Lois Ann L. I think it's Lois Ann L. Oh, it's a little smeared, but I think that's what it is, is Lois Ann. And these are those cat crazies. Thank you, Lois. These are fun. They're kind of like the bottle, the milk rings, or um, something like the rings that Tilo likes. Yeah, these are fun. Thank you very much, Lois. And I think we'll put one in there, and then I'll get that out after breakfast tomorrow morning. Thank you. The kitties like those. This is from Bats for Cutie. Cutie. Everybody loves cuties. Oh, I better better be careful. I think this is from our friend Bat, who is in Pennsylvania. Our cat a Terry, if you could put, there's a donation in there from Bats for the new storage room. Oh, Bats, this is cute. I always make sure I put the rubber bands away because I don't want the kitties to chew on those. Oh, gosh, this is cute. Cutie. says, Be My Valentine. You are such a wonderful, loving kitty. I love you so much. Cutie, you are in a great place with other kitties, volunteers, chatters, and your mama, Jackie, who all love you. I saw you in the office fly through the air at the top of your condo. Wow. I said you go, cutie. A special kitty you are. Love, Bats. And check this out. Isn't that cute? Cutie, I love you. Love, hug, candy, <laughs> sweet, Cupid's arrow, cutie be my valentine, cutie is awesome. This is cool. I'm going to show this to Greg tomorrow too. And I'm going to put this on this door that goes here in the office so that the volunteers can see both sides of this. 
Betts, thank you so much. That's really cool. Really, really cool. And we have one more. Don't ban from Lillian M. M. Lillian M. from Illinois. And it's from also in, in addition to Lillian, it's from Oreo, Elvis, Max, Baby, and Xena. Oreo, Elvis, Max, Baby, and Xena. And don't bend. Well, we got an envelope on the back of it first. Whoops. Oh, there we go. Ooh, that came out real good. Oh, and we have coupons, which we will definitely use coupons. I'm going to put those up here for Diane. To, she's going to be our coupon organizer. Oh, no. Isn't that pretty? To Jackie and all the kitties. And I think that I was, she had said she was doing to put this give Sesame a big hug and kiss from me and my kitty. Well, I'm sure Sesame knows he was well loved. From Lillian and my cats. How appropriate that that's an angel there for, for Sesame. And it says, Dear Jackie and kitties, I hope you and the kitties are okay. Well, Jackie, I start to watch Kitty Cam on December 30th, 2011. I love all your cats. They are so pretty. I thank you for what you and your volunteers are doing, saving these felines. You and your volunteers have a good and big heart. God bless you. Well, my cat Oreo be watching to Kitty Cam, the Kitty Cam, to every time I go take a shower. I come back to the laptop. Oreo is watching. The kitties, he loves it. I put a video of Oreo watching the kitty cam. I hope you saw it. Go to Oreo Lillian Molina. That's my my Oreo Facebook page. Every time I watch kitties, I start. I send my prayer to Sesame and Twinkle. I hope they get better. I send them a big hug and kiss. I love Fifi. She's so cute. Cute and Wait, she's so cute. God bless her. And Putter is the man. He's so handsome. Kitty, well, here is some coupons for your kitties. I don't have that much because I am low income. My cats, Oreo, Elvis, Max, Baby, and Xena, want to send this coupon from the heart. Enjoy, enjoy them, Jackie. Every time buy a newspaper, I will send you the kitty coupons for you. Buy the kitties treats and food. Thank you for what you are doing for the kitties. Love you, and God bless you. P.S. Give Putter, Sesame, Fifi, Twinkle, a big kiss and hug from me and my kitties. I let you go for now. God bless and your kitties. Here's my email, and you can send me an email at, and she's got that on there. My screen name on chat room on Kitty Cam is Zena Molina. Zena Molina. That's and her real name is Lillian. Lillian, thank you. This is very special. I appreciate that so very much. And thank you for your wonderful letter. Thank you for that. Um, boy, I always make a mess. I'm just a good mess maker, I guess. Um, I've got some things to share here. I first wanted to... I'm sure most of you saw by now that Sharky Sharky um, had posted on her on the Facebook that she lost her Sharky kitty today. Um, just wanted to tell Sharky I got to talk to her on the phone today, which was a real pleasure for me, and I'm I'm so glad that you called me and that we got to chat a little bit. Her cat Sharky was 21 years old, and you know I think it's no matter how old they are and they pass away we still miss them and this is and I have not read this yet this is from Cheryl um, but I thought since Sharky has just lost her kitty and we have lost you know a couple kitties here 
um, it, I just barely glanced at this that Cheryl Ann sent, but I think that we, I think this would be a really great thing to read right now. It says, "I'm still here, friend. Please, and I've not, I've not seen this one before. Friend, please don't mourn for me. I'm still here, though you don't see. I'm right by your side each night and day, and within your heart I long to stay. My body is gone, but I'm always near." I'm everything you feel, see, or hear. My spirit is free, but I'll never depart as long as you keep me alive in your heart. I'll never wander out of your sight. I'm the brightest star on a summer night. I'll never be beyond your reach. In the, I'm, the moist, I'm the warm, moist sand when you're at the beach. I'm the colorful leaves when fall comes around and the pure white snow that blankets the ground. I'm the beautiful flowers of which you're so fond, the clear, cool water in a quiet pond. I'm the first bright blossom you'll see in the spring, the first warm raindrop that April will bring. I'm the first ray of light when the sun starts to shine, and you'll see that the face in the moon is mine. When you start thinking there's no one to love you, you can talk to me through the Lord above you. I'll whisper my answer through the leaves on the trees, and you'll feel my presence in the soft summer breeze. I'm the hot salty tears that flow when you weep and the beautiful dreams that come while you sleep. I'm the smile you see on a baby's face. Just look for me, friend. I'm at every place. And the author is unknown. Thank you. Cheryl Ann, you sent this at a really good time, and I appreciate that. I know Sharky's lost her baby's baby, and I, I, I lost my, you know, Aprilla this past week. And uh, we lost our dear, dear Sesame. And I've gotten some emails lately from, just this week, from some webcam viewer friends that um, are in the process of losing their their special kitties. So, you know, doggone, you know, we wish that they would all live forever, but they don't. And I think one of the God's greatest gifts that we, we have ever received is um, the memories that stick with us and that we remember. So thank you for, for this this. You know, I'm I'm putting together a lot of these cool letters that we get. I'm I'm gonna put them together and I just they're just too good. They're just some of them are so funny and some they're just awesome. And I, I wanna I wanna put them together and make like a little booklet that we can get out to you all. And there we've gotten a really a couple neat uh goodbye sayings and I think I want to include these in that also so I think that would be neat all right well I have a few things to go over and then I got to clean up my big old mess here uh, today is a very extra special day as we said and that's because it's Ada Jane's birthday and Ada Jane I think is around the corner you know she doesn't meow she only leaves that little uh -uh noise out but she can snore <laughs> I get a kick out of that so I just wanted to tell you about Ada Jane you be careful she um, is what did we say 17 today yeah she's 17 today isn't that awesome her birthday uh, was is February 11, 2005, and I had went out to, when I used to work at the, or not work, but volunteer, out at our local um, shelter, there was, uh, there, there was, is, I'm not sure now, um, but a room where the kitties went into to be euthanized. And I would always go in there and pet and play and cry with them. And um, Ada Jane was in there, and she was just left there. She was deposited there, they said, when, and she was 10 years old. They just left her there. They didn't want her anymore. So I told her to pack her bag. She was coming home with me. So she came, and uh, I have just loved her from the very beginning. She's, she's been with us for seven years now. And she came here already spayed and declawed. And look at this. This is her record. 
and it, it's so old. It's yellow. It's it's taped here. It's taped here. It's got a big hole here. It's been bit on. It's ripped. <laughs> And it's yellow, and it's been spilled on, and I could transfer everything onto a new sheet, but I'm not gonna. I've got stuff even written on the back. This is her health record, and I just love it. So um, I just keep it and just keep adding on to it. So happy birthday to Ada Jean. I love her to pieces, and I know you all do too. And uh, I appreciate you, you guys, uh, loving our kitties. Uh, Pocus first, I wanted to tell you, I did hear from Pocus and from Mary and Ron, and Pocus is doing pretty good. Uh, she was shy the first day, and after that, she's doing really well. She jumped a little bit. I think she, Mary said on the bed last night, she loves to be uh, petted and sat with on the floor and she'll roll and roll and just um, really enjoy it. So Pocus is doing good. I also heard from Shasta's dad that adopted her a couple of days ago and Shasta is doing really well too. It sounds like um, that was a real loving thing there for them. Phone, I know I don't think, I usually don't get the phone. Keep calling until she answers. Hello? Yes. <laughs> oh, yes, there is. I can feel it now. I got so involved in the envelope. Okay, I got it. <laughs> I got it. Thank you, Jackie. Okay, bye-bye. You guys are too funny. We got a good telecommunication here. Okay. I guess I didn't finish this. This is the one from Lillian. Yes, I just love the love the letter so much. I didn't get into this part. Oops. One of these days I'm going to tickle my tummy with that. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh. Oh, let me hold that a second. This is from Lillian, and it's uh, Zena Molina. I'm sorry, I almost missed that. Oh. Remember this card? That's just a beautiful cat on there. I want to wish you and your family and kitties happy Valentine's from Lillian and my babies and kitties, Oreo, Elvis, Max, and Zena. And here's her kitties. Okay, this is Oreo Molina. Look at that. Look at the paws crossed. Oh, fear is going to hold these. This is Elvis. Oh, whoa. Is he a handsome dude or what? And Max Molina. Oh. Oh, what? Oh, look at the little teddy bear. And baby Melina and Lillian, or baby Mel Melina, and Zena Melina. Oh, look at that! Look at that's eyes. Oh, very pretty. I, oh. <laughs> a Moody Shailene. Is this our new friend? You guys crack me up. Dear Jackie and Kitties, wanted to say hi to you and the kitties and send a big hug and kiss to you and the kitties. I watch every day the kitty webcam. I don't miss one webcam. I love when you open boxes and mail from different people that send you things. I can, can't wait to see the new floor. I have five cats. Their names are Oreo, Zena, Elvis, Baby, Max. They are my babies. I make a video of Oreo watching your webcam of your kitties. I hope you see it. Oreo, Elvis, Max have their own Facebook page. They have you as a friend on their Facebook. I hope you love their pages. I have a page too. 
and a YouTube page. If I miss your webcam, Kitty, I got to watch it on YouTube too when I go to bed. I need to watch the Kitty webcam. I love watching your kitties play and play fight. Would you ever make postcards of your kitty pictures of them and send them to your fans? People have asked me that before. I hope you love it and wear it. Look at this. And she's got her number here. And God bless you and your baby kitties. Oh, I hear you, Tweeny. Just a minute. I'm going to get you out. Oh, Lillian, this is absolutely beautiful. Um, can you see that pin there? There, there you can see it. Oh, there you are, Zena Molinas. That is beautiful. I love it. Thank you. And look at this. Oh, I'm trying to get it so you can see the front. There's, there's the kitty on the front. Zena, thank you. Thank you very much. That's very special to me. Thank you. I will treasure this and the pen. I'm gonna. I'll put this on my black, on my black coat. Thank you very much, Lillian. That's very nice of you. I'll put this over here so I don't get it mixed up, and I'll take that inside with me. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um. Okay. Let me get get this organized again. So we've heard from Pocus, we've heard from Shasta, and I had somebody ask me to show Ferris baby picture. And there, the one below the kitty, see there's two white kitties on there, but the one below the kitty with the pink cast is um, Farah as a baby and that's not her baby baby picture but it's the one that we have whoops there we go isn't that cute yeah she was a little girl who is the one in the pink cast that one was Elsa and Elsa's picture she's both of those at the top Usually we splint the legs or um, or uh, put a pin in them, but that one had an external frame on it then was wrapped this way. <laughs> it was funny because uh, that cat would not leave that thing on. And, uh, the doctor put the, fir the vet put the first one on, and after that it was a daily thing until I finally called up and said, this is not staying on. And by that time, when the kitty got it off at night and I came out in the morning, um, kitty was, was uh, walking on it pretty decent. So he said, just leave it off. Um, Bella, well, let me first show you this other one first. I think I might have showed you this one, but somebody asked me to show this again because they really like Simone. This is Simone when he first came in. See how thin? and awful and all he had dozens of boo-boos on them absolutely a bunches of them and the top one was when he first came in and then that bottom whoops there we go that's how handsome he is there see his front left paw he couldn't even hardly look at or use that yeah he was in sad shape he's the one I pulled out of a Girl Scout cookie box and put them on the floor in front of me and oh my goodness I didn't know how he could ever stand Kate had written this on there and he, she wrote Simone was brought to FFRC covered with sores bites and a broken left front leg we bathed him daily and treated his wounds to Daisy he's a beautiful healthy cat yeah he's a cool boy now we love him. Well, Belle on Bella. Bella, um, today while I was gone at my mom's, a lot of you probably already know what happened. Um, Bella um, had a little episode that she has had before, but it's been a long time. Um, when 
three. It's been probably a year, year and a half ago. I've seen I've seen a series of this that she did where she would get the head wobbles, and um, it's just her head. And this is what she did like a year, year and a half ago, and her eyes would uh, fluctuate back and forth and. Uh, she's still aware, it, and I, our vets think that this is a, a seizure activity. She had maybe three of those episodes, year, year. It's probably been a year and a half ago. Um, and uh, we just kind of weathered through that. There was only three, three, maybe four episodes. And then that was the first time that that had happened, and then they were over and done with. And it's nothing more. It's not like what Farrah's seizures were. Farrah's seizures, when she would have hers, was full, all-out, complete body seizures. Bella's is just a twitching from her shoulders up, of her head, and her eyes. I mean, everything's just kind of wobble for her. But um, she's fully aware. She doesn't potty like what Farrah does, any of that. So they're very, very minor. Um, Today's the first time she's done it for a long, long time. I got a phone call from Bubbles that said that she saw Farrah fall <laughs> off of the pole here where the kitties are going up. So, um, and she said it was a pretty hard fall. Don't know if that might have um, brought it on. Not sure. Uh, she had about a 10-minute little spell of it and then a pause. And by that time, then, I got home and um, she started into it again. So I just gave her a little injection and it just, they just went away and she, she's been fine since and she's out and about. And I really don't anticipate this happening again. If it would for some reason bring on a series of this again, we, we don't get in a hurry of starting the PBs, the phenobarbs. So um, we're just on a wait and see. She may never do this again. It may be another year. We don't really know. A lot of these seizure activities in cats, we don't always know the whole stories on, on them. Um, but, yeah, she did fall. She did take a pretty hard fall, it sounded like. But I wanted to share you her, her um, picture. Um, this is Bella. A lot of you have seen this. A lot of you have not. Here, Sarah, will you hold that for me? That's her baby picture when she came in. Isn't she the cutest little thing? And the story on this that Kate wrote is Bella arrived at FFRC on October 17, 2002. Goodness sakes, so this October she'll, she'll be um, 10 years old already. Wow. She was brought in by Brad, who had found her in the middle of the highway, another accident victim. Bella suffered bone and nerve damage, so Dr. Bill... Our chiropractor was called in to work on her. What a sweet, patient kitty she proved to be. On October 22nd, five days after she arrived, her right rear leg was amputated. She does not use her left rear leg very well, and so it has earned the name Bella Get Your Butt Up. <laughs> That's what we always called her, Bella Get Your Butt Up. But this is when she first came in. I love it that we can share pictures. There's, there's her when she first came in. This is her little leg that's gone. And then there she is squawking. We just, uh, our vet told me just to do a straight wrap on that. Don't kink it or anything or bend it to the natural. So we, because we knew it had to be amputated. So we just put it in a straight position, the green there, to keep it stabilized so that it wouldn't hurt her. And the reason that we were we did that instead of putting it in a straight position or in a natural position is because we knew that that leg had to be removed, but her other leg and tail, you know, also had some paralysis to it. So we had to have something more that we had to have something working on her. So we waited those five days, and each day she got a little more. Um, feeling into her leg and her tail. And here's uh, Dr. Bill, and I was looking at her x-ray. And there's Dr. Bill. You all have seen him. And then that bottom one, he was he did a lot of adjustments on her um, 
those first few days trying to get as much feeling back as what we could. Um, and there, there we are holding her while he's examining her. Just trying to get as much feeling back into that leg and tail as possible. And then this is at Bella right after surgery. You can still see the bruising on her leg. And there she is. Oh, it was so bruised. And oh, that's not Bella. That's a kitty named Paisley. That's what happens to a kitty when they throw him out of a car. But look out, look how beautiful she ended up being. Yeah. Yeah, Bella was pretty little. She was a little girl. <laughs> The kitties are playing on the new poof bed. Since we're on Bella, just for those that may not know, she was six weeks old when she arrived. And she came on October 13th of 2002. And uh, her birthday is September 1st, 2002. So that's my story. And are there any other questions tonight before I start cleaning up? You are all very welcome. Well, we're glad you're back. The new kitty is doing. Uh, I don't know how Bella landed, to be honest with you. I just heard the story. N um, Niven. Niven. It's about, oops, I missed. I missed that. Um, can you share with us about my doggies? I've got three doggies. They're all girls. And the big dude is, uh, Jazzy is the big great Dane. And then the medium one is Cammy. The small one is Janie, and they all were rescues. Jazzy, as big as what she is right now, looks like a horse, um, was a skinny, skinny, skinny thing uh, when I took her in. She was so very sick. Uh, couldn't keep anything down, had diarrhea. She was just sick, sick. Uh, Cammie came in here. Remember, as a rescue, we took her off of a, off of a country farm that had school boarded way too many dogs and we were allowed by the um, dog warden to take 13 of them and Jazzy's the one that came she was a mama she had two puppies and Jazzy was so horrible condition that um, she couldn't even stand that she broke my heart when I put her in my truck it was so sad and Janie was um, she wasn't real sick but she was pretty thin she was a mess when I got her but she's fine now She's my little Shih Tzu girl. I will bring the new kitty out for you. You know, uh, the story I'm getting again today is, I think this is a red doll. Um, I found th this came from out of town. This is not a defiance, people. Um, we found out that, again, today verified a little bit more on it, that um, the people who ra where she was found, down the road a ways, there's somebody that raises raid dolls, and sometimes they just let them outside, and they wander and find new homes. And when they went down, the people who found him went down and asked. They said, no, you know, it wasn't. So I'm assuming that it really did come from them. Uh, yeah, from the shoulder up, Cricket, yep. Niven. I think I'm pronouncing it right. Niven. Yes. Yeah, Bedinsky. I did read that. I copied it because I didn't have time to really investigate it. So I copied it and um, we're going to spend more time looking at that. Okay. I will, Lini. And I know I'm so far behind on this. Bella landed on her backside. Thank you, Bubbles, for telling us that. 
Jazzy is, I think, eight or nine, which, as you know, for a great diet dean, is getting up there. Well, when when kitties come in, it's pretty easy to tell their age. We go by their physical ability, their um, their especially their teeth formation, and where they are at physically. You know, are they able to walk? Are they able to run? Um, how far up their ears are? You know, there's a whole bunch of things you can tell. Picture. Oh, wait a minute. Did you say cutie? Cutie's baby picture. Um, Bats, I'm going to, that book I put away last night, so I'll have to get that one back out, Bats. Ah, uh, gosh, Stacy's dog, the last I, I have not heard from her for quite a few hours, but Bailey had surgery during the night, and, uh, he was still not in the best condition this morning. So I'm not really sure how this afternoon went. I be, I texted her a couple times, but haven't heard anything back yet. Poof. But tonight I'll put the new poof out um, on the playground area so you can see it. Oh. Mimi, I sent you a, a valentine for Niven, 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 attached to an email. Okay, I must have, I don't think I've gotten that one yet. I'll, I will pull that off. If I can't get it tonight, I'll do it tomorrow, uh, Mimi, and, and get that. Niven is your maiden name, Kelly girl. That's pretty cool. Uh, as long as we keep up with Cutie, her grooming problem is not too bad. Um, and if it doesn't improve, we've got a backup medicine that our vet wants us to try. Oh, I've got baby pictures of the patties. I'll write that down and show you um, next boxes. Yeah, they, they were really little. Niven. Yeah, I heard that today but there was a David Niven. Hi, Sarah. Now I'm way behind here. I'll try to flip up here a little faster. Yeah, and actually, I'm going to put the poof out um, tonight. Oops. <laughs> I was going to pull the poof, but the kitties jumped off. But we'll put it out for them tonight. I'm I'm not sure where the stomach was turned at. Um, oh, oh, Stacy did post that that Bailey's a little better. Yeah, we'll show the ba the Patty baby pictures um, on the next night. Oh, thank you, New York cat lover. Thank you. Glad of that. Holly's life. Um, I let me check on um, Holly. Um, yep, I, Stacy, I think, has posted it, so, um, Stacy is going to move, but not yet. Not because she doesn't love us, she loves us a lot, it's just sometimes, you know, time to move on a little. We, I love, I love having her here, we have a good time together. Yep, she's so much fun, just love her to pieces. We, we, we sure have fun together. <laughs> Queen of Kings, you're not supposed to bring that off uh, my boot. Boo boo. Okay, what happened over here? What was that? Oh, okay. That's all right. Nobody got hurt. Um, Lucy Tunes, I'm just really behind on this, but I just saw yours. Anybody can donate through um, PayPal, and anyone can mail things here to the Rescue Center, and we are always so appreciative. Oh, 
Oh, well, we're, I'm glad, Beth, that you are with us. Yeah, we'll see if anybody will get on that. Right, right now, while well, well, DLH is still here. I will give Bella a great big old kiss for you, feline. <laughs> um, if you guys remind me on another night, I'll read you the story about the pregnant cat that was a boy. No, Stacy is still staying here, even when she moves to her, her new place. Um, she still will be working here. I told her she has a hundred year contract with me. <laughs> Aww. Okay, I'm going to flip up kind of fast and I know I've missed some of the questions and I'm so sorry. Bella will probably claim that red poof. Yeah, Stacy Stacy will still be here with us. Um, that's Octavia. That's on the poof right now. No, oh, that's Octavia. Right, Octavia. Yep, yeah, that's Octavia. Oh. Oh well, we're glad you're here, DLH fan. You no, know, you know what we're gonna do with the apartment out there. I think some of you guys will really like this. We are going to turn it into, we'll continue to keep it as an apartment for um, when we get visitors. So if if the visitors that come don't want to rent a hotel room, we will have um, the apartment that, that our visitors can stay in. It'll be cool. Yeah, no, it's not for rent. It's for, for up for just come and stay with us. Yeah. It'll be really cool. Uh, we're going to decorate it. Angie's helping, and today we did a little bit of thinking on it. Yeah, Jackie's motel, but um, we we're really excited about it. Or that's right, Deb. When my mom ever says she's ready to move and sell her home, um, boy, my mom, I want her here. Can you book the room now? <laughs> oh, you guys are wonderful. We'll put a big uh, pillow, and you could even whoever stays, you know, when when we get it ready, um, we'll you can even take some of the kitties from here out there, and let them sleep with you for the night if you'd like. Yeah, whenever my mom is ready to move and she wants to come, we'll we'll take out the furniture, the beds that we have in there, and everything, and she can move her own furniture in. But in the meantime, we can use it as a overnighter place or whatever for anybody that comes and visits with us. <laughs> we'll take you all, okay? <laughs> all right. I'm going to start cleaning up. <laughs> Come on, Lini. We'll take you. All four of your kitties. Yeah, ABQ cat, everybody. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh dear yeah you know that that'll that would be kind of fun you know or if you're here out of town out of state I mean to adopt and you're going to stay a night or two you can take your new kitty with you out there to get to know before you leave <laughs> we'll take you too cat lady yep at the bbq Oh, well, you guys are awesome. I'm going to start cleaning up, and uh, I'm going to get to bed. <laughs> yep.